All right, and we're back. Whew. It got, I know it was cold in here a little bit ago, but I just got really warm, just so you guys know. So actually our uh, NFL coach, uh, NFL lady, she's gonna be in a little bit. So uh, I apologize about the mix up in the schedule. So first off, we are going to bring up Dr. Jay Greenstein, Dr. Mitch Malley, Dr. Troy Van Beesen, and three-time Super Bowl winner, Roger Craig from the 49ers. Let's give him a round of applause. All right, can you guys hear me? How's it going today? It's beautiful, right? At Parker, it's awesome. So today is like me in a candy store. I'm sitting here with two of the best sports chiropractors in the world and one of the best running backs of all time. <laughs> Love Thank this guy, you. Roger Thank Craig. You. So, so you, just a few stats for you as it relates to Roger. So Roger <laughs> was the first NFL running back to gain 1,000 yards both receiving and rushing in the same season. Give it up for Roger. He's also, he's, also, he's also the first running back in NFL history to be voted to the Pro Bowl as both a halfback and a fullback. All right? The guy has amassed over 13,000 yards and scored 73 touchdowns in his career. Give it up. Give it up. Thank you. So we are really lucky to have him here today because he is a huge chiropractic advocate. In addition, we have two chiropractic sports warriors. Dr. Mitch Malley, Mitch is, Mitch is an educator. He teaches all over the world. He trains doctors to be better at what we do in our craft of chiropractic. And he has treated elite athletes for his entire career. And he'll talk more <clears throat> about that a little bit later. Guys like Lou Ferrigno and Roger and many others, yes? Yes. Awesome. Troy Van Beesen, this guy has got the best deal in town. He's traveling with the PGA, right? He traveled with the PGA, he's got a couple practices in Dallas, and he also takes care of the Dallas Stars, the NHL team. So again, two awesome sports chiropractors to, uh, to lead this panel, so I'm, I'm really grateful that you guys are here today. All right, so Roger, let's, let's leave this off with you. Um, tell us how you actually got exposed to chiropractic. Well, first of all, I wanna thank Mark Mandel for letting me be a part of this platform. Um, it, it's, it's awesome that you know he, he invited me to come here to share my story. Um, but how I got introduced to chiropractic, I lived two blocks from Palmer College in Davenport, Iowa, and so, so you know when students were going out to get their their hours, their, their community hours, I was like the guinea pigs they were getting <laughs> during the, <laughs> the adjustments on, you know. And so our family kind of really believed in it a lot, and um, I later on met Dr. Mitch Malley, which um, uh, I was in college at the time, and um, I uh, sprained my ankle in the All-Star game. And um, I'm getting ready for the draft, you know, and um, I couldn't do any, um, any type of, you know, uh, workouts for the, for, for the scouting, you know, uh, pro scouts. Yeah. And um, I met Dr. Mitch Malley at my, um, my, uh, my cousin's, uh, opening, um, I can't even think straight right now, um, gym, you know, it's, it's like a, a, a ghost gym. Yeah, yeah. And Lou Ferrigno was there, and so. That, that was his patient, right? Yeah, yeah. and so, so, so Dr. Malley, you know, I met him, and, and I was talking to him about, you know, my ankle, and, and he told me he was a chiropractor. I said, wow, you know, I, I know about chiropractic. I want to be a part of, I want you to, you know, adjust me and see if you can help my ankle, and, yeah. and he did it. He, he, he invited me to his, his, his clinic on uh, the next day, and uh, he adjusted my ankle, and, and I, I, was, I was a believer after that. And we know? were talking yeah. earlier today, and you were telling me a story where Dr. Malley treated you, ankle injury, right? And yeah, you yeah. had to play. Normally, you wouldn't have been able to get back on the field, but what happened? Yeah, yeah, um, you know, it, it kept my streak alive of never missing a game for eight years. Yeah. So Dr. Malley would, he would, he would travel all throughout the Midwest to basically uh, adjust me and my teammates. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, if we played in Chicago, St. Louis, Minnesota, 
you know, Kansas City, he was there. He's a dedicated chiropractor, yeah, right? Absolutely. He's dedicated. And so, so basically, um, I um, hurt my ankle in warm ups, and I was in St. Louis, and I called Dr. Malley, and, and he came up and he adjusted my ankle, and I was able to play a, a, a half of game, you know, so I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have kept my streak alive if, if it wasn't for him. So I'd like to thank this man. Eight years, right? Eight, Eight years, years not miss a game. game. Yep, That's awesome. Absolutely. And chiropractic, big part of that, yes? Absolutely. That's awesome. I, I'm a strong believer in chiropractic. That's awesome. <laughs> Strong believer. <laughs> so just, just to get into the logistics, you know, if, if, if some of you or some of them or some of us have never been in a training room, what are the logistics like? Like, when are you getting adjusted? Before games, after games? How often are you getting adjusted? Well, you know, I, I, I try to go twice a week, you know, and um, before the game, you know, uh, Dr. Uh, Athens, would, where, uh, Dr. Malley, you know, referred me to him um, when I got drafted to the 49ers. He, he was my guy, and um, so he would come and adjust us before the game, have a whole line of athletes down the road and and I, I introduced big line to see Dr. Malley yeah, right yeah um I introduced um you know Jerry Rice uh Joe Montana Ronnie Loud to, to to Nick and um but Dr. Athens I mean Dr. Malley referred me to him so that's um, great uh, he, was, he was one of his students, so he, he was a great, great chiropractor. Now, you're in great shape, right? You still yeah. look as young as you did when you were playing, man. <laughs> and uh, and, and you're, you're doing marathons and all that kind of stuff. Still getting adjusted, right? Well, Helping I love chiropractic, that. and it's part of my life. You know, I think everyone should invest in your, in your body. It's an investment. You go, to, you, you go to a dentist. You go to the dentist to get your teeth clean. Well, do that for your body, too. You know what I mean? You know, take care of your body. It's you know, great. So I, I'm, I'm a strong believer in chiropractic, and it helped me throughout my career and my post-career. I'm, I'm able to run marathons. I ran 39 marathons. It's fantastic. 30 30 time, 39 marathons. 39. It's fantastic. Wow. And I run 45, 50 miles a week, so you can imagine how much pounding it takes on your back, you know, and your lower extremities. So um, you got to keep those things in line, in proper Perfect. alignment. Perfect. You so know. I know chiropractic is your secret weapon, but you have another little secret weapon as well. You want to share that with the group? <laughs> Well, yes, uh, you know, chiropractic is my, my, my secret weapon and, and getting massages, you know, on top of that. But biofreeze is the one I love the most. Yeah. <laughs> we get that. We, 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 we get that. We understand. I put biofreeze on my legs before I run and I'm loose. I'm ready to go, man. It's, That's great. It's a, good, it's a good product, man. I'm telling it you. It is. It is. And then, you know, Performance Dr. health is happy about that. Dr. So, yeah. Athens, you put, put on my neck before you adjust me, too, and it, it works pretty well. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so let's get to Dr. Malley. So, so. Dr. Malley, you know, again, you, you treat elite athletes, and you've, you've done it a long time, and you do it really, really well. You are, you're, you're, you're legendary as an adjuster, a, a sniper, so to speak. <laughs> what is it like? What do, what do you do differently as it relates to treating the athlete at any level? That's a really good question. Number one, you have to look at the human body as the greatest machine ever made. It's the greatest self-healing machine, and obviously every chiropractor in the audience agrees that uh, restoring function to a joint will restore the body's ability innately to heal. And Roger is one of the most fine-tuned athletes and machines I have ever worked on, and I mean that because he took the time and the dedication and determination to make his body perform. So as chiropractors, we bridge the gap between pain and performance. Sure, absolutely, we definitely do. And how important is education to the athlete, like them understanding exactly what chiropractic brings to them? It's really important, and the best analogies I like to give is uh, we're the greatest architectural engineers of the most amazing machine ever created. Well said. This structure is incredible. It has that in ability to heal, and every chiropractor in this audience is probably appreciated, whether it's Roger, whether it's Troy or myself, we've had this opportunity to take care of athletes at a whole nother level than most, and, and it is actually the same care that we provide each and every one, it's the patient's commitment to what we provide, which is absolutely critical. And when you have an athlete at this level, compliance is critical. Yeah, and they're compliant. They know how important it is to their bodies, oh, yeah, right? Definitely, definitely. Absolutely. I mean, you, you gotta buy into the system. And, and, and with, with uh, Dr. Malley and Mitch, I mean, uh, uh, Nick Athens, I mean, they educated me, you know, on, on my body, you know, what's going on in my body. You have to be able to, you know, know what's going on in your system. So w when you go out and perform on a football field, you can, you can make it happen. You're ready. You know, you're ready to go. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, I had confidence when I was on the field, you know, that, you know, I can play all out, you know, because I know I have someone that, to take care of my, my body. So um, a lot of guys will hold off, bag off a little bit here and there. I went 100 miles per hour every time I touched the ball because I knew if I got hurt, 
I got him to take care of me. That's great. Yeah. Anybody who saw Roger Craig play football know he went 100% <laughs> all out every yeah, play, right? Absolutely. It's phenomenal. Yeah, give it up. <laughs> He's great. Thanks. That's awesome. So just, just another question real quick, Mitch. Um, you know, we've, we've been fortunate enough to, to have lots of great conversations, and, and for, especially for the young doctors coming out who are hungry and ready to get into practice, what does is, what is being a sports chiropractor mean to growing a successful practice? Well, it's a double-edged sword. Number one, if you call yourself a sports injury chiropractor, there may be elderly and other patients that won't come to you. So be careful in how you claim your fame. You're a chiropractor who takes care of the entire human body, all the peripheral joints, all the extremities, and even that's a big word for the public. They don't know what an extremity is in many cases. So we treat your shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand, your jaw, your foot, your knee, your ankle, etc., cetera, um, uh, along with treating the spine. So educating the patient is absolutely paramount. And for the young people, sports chiropractic, and I'm sure you're going to hear it in just a few moments from another colleague here, is it's a challenge on your life, and your lifestyle can be great, but also it is a tremendous commitment on your part as a doctor. You have to be willing to travel and take care. And I remember a time with Roger, uh, if, we're going to go back to St. Louis, and you yeah. had me ask, uh, you asked if I could take care of Blanchard, your roommate, oh, yeah. who broke my portable table <laughs> in half when he laid on it. He was a big so, guy. Uh, <laughs> but here's an athlete who had many injuries since junior high school, who with one treatment under chiropractic that he never had, yeah. was able to play that game, and he led the team in assists and tackles, yeah. and the game that Roger was not supposed to play was able to play. So right. the value of being able to be a servant to our patients. It's never about me, it's all about my patient, whether they're a celebrity or a weekend warrior or they work in a factory. It's always about serving your community to the greatest you can. Amen. And there's a lot of, especially in the pediatric part, yeah, give it up for Mitch. Um, there's a, there's a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of kids um, playing sports these days, there's three and a half million injuries a year, and many of these kids, unfortunately, are being mismanaged. And we have a great opportunity to serve, as Mitch said, to help those kids and keep them healthy so they can get to Roger's level. Okay, Troy. So he does have the best job. Just great, great hearing about your work. Tell us what a day is like on the PGA Tour. Really long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just flew in from Hawaii, so I'm a little groggy. Um, <laughs> The day in the PGA Tour starts off really early. My wake-up call, for example, yesterday was 4.45 in the morning. Um, I had to get my guys looked at, treated, take them through their warm-ups, get them on the range so they can play. And then you basically have half, you know, kind of a day to kind of do what you got to do, go back to sleep, go work out, whatever, get some work done, and then they come back in, and then typically it's another treatment. So the, the, the golfer is actually getting treated twice a day. Wow. Yeah. So they're, they're long days. I'm there from Monday to Sunday. And I know there's other healthcare professionals that also are on the tour with you, serving these patients. Tell us what those yep. interactions are all about, the communication and the collaboration that happens in, in a healthcare team yeah, with an I, I think the important thing I really want to, uh, the message is, as a chiropractor, as a sports chiropractor, you really need to understand that you're part of a team. And it's so important that you got to work with the athletic trainer, you got to work with the orthopedic, you got to work with the physical therapist. And you're just a cog in the wheel, and you're, you are a very important cog in the wheel. And really why we are, we are in that medical team is because of these guys right here. Absolutely. The voices for the athletes is, is why they want chiropractic in that locker room or in that dressing room. So you just got to be sure that you're, you're a part of the team, check your ego at the door, do your job, do your best that you can do that day, and just take care of that athlete. That's great. Yeah. What are some of the best advancements that you've seen working in a multidisciplinary setting like that? What are some of the best advancements that you've seen as it relates to both injury prevention and or improving yeah. performance? Two big things that have come around in probably the last five years is 3D motion capture. So we're looking at an athlete or, or a patient under 3D cameras, and basically it's very objective. You can't hide from the cameras, and so there's markers on the body. We'll take a, an athlete through a certain screen, functional screen. We'll take them through their sport movement, and we'll look to see how efficient they are. Are their joints in the proper angles? Um, is there potential for injury? Is there potential for getting even, performing even better? And just longevity. So 3D motion capture is a big thing right now in the sport medicine world. Um, in every sport, gymnastics, golf, uh, weightlifting is huge. And so that's a big one right now. And I don't know if the market's really ready for that, still in research kind of mode. Sure. Uh, but it's, it's, it's a tool I've used now for three years. Uh, it's been phenomenal. Things I just can't pick up with the naked eye. And I take an athlete through a certain movement or, or, or sprint 40, 40 yards or whatever. We see how they run, look at their joints, look at their hips, look at their spine. 
Um, we can really look at really dial in on how well they're, they're, you know, they're running. Uh, the second part is looking at genetic testing. So genetic testing is really big probably in the last couple of years. We're actually looking at athletes' telomeres, and we're basically looking at, okay, based on the telomeres and the genetics results that we're getting from these athletes is the type of training you can do. Are they an anaerobic? Can we train them anaerobically? Can we train them aerobically? Um, nutrition. Are they more of a, and I'm, keep, I'm being this very simple right now, are they more of a carb person? Are they more of a protein person? Sure. And these genetic testing actually tells you. So now you're actually working smarter. And for, in, in my world, and just like Roger's world and Dr. Mitch's world, is it's, it's all about longevity. Sure. I mean, if you can get an athlete another five years on a contract, that equates to millions of dollars. Yeah. Sure. And so if there's certain things you can find, um, you know, that are new and things are up and coming, and that helps an athlete really be able to play the sport as long as they can at a high level, you're a very valuable tool on their team. So it is really important to grow yourself and understand the new data and technology that's coming out to do a better job for our patients, yes. No, no doubt. There's so many things that come out new every year. Um, and, and as a sports chiropractor, you've got to stay on top of it. Absolutely. Because this day and age, the, the, new, the athlete this day and age is so much more educated and so much and so smarter than it was 10, Absolutely. 15 Absolutely. years ago. You know your bodies, right, Roger? Yeah. It's, yeah. And sometimes they come into the locker room and they know more yeah. than I do. <laughs> uh, but the, they're very aware. And some of the young kids that are coming up now are, are so used to this technology that they expect that when they get to the pro ranks or the college ranks. Yeah. So Jordan yeah. Spieth, we're having a conversation about Jordan Spieth earlier today. Yep. Just, you've been treating him since he was how old? 14 years old. And, and he's how old now? 22. How cool is that? Number yeah. one he's golfer in the world, right? Doing. Number one what? golfer. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, man. give it up for, for, for Doc. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's good stuff. What has chiropractic meant to Jordan? You said you had many conversations. What has chiropractic meant to Jordan? A lot. <clears throat> you know, Jordan, uh, obviously, it's been a, f a phenomenal two years with this kid. Uh, we knew he was special. We didn't know he was this special. But he's one of the most hardworking, mature, grounded athletes I've ever worked with. And I've been traveling on the PJ Tour now for 14 years. Wow. Um, so it's a, that's a lot of weeks away from home. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, Jordan is very aware of how important my role is on his team. And he's so aware of it that when he got the green jacket and won the Masters, he actually thanked chiropractic and myself as an integral part of his team. That's awesome. That's, awesome. that's great. That's great. That's great. So I, I want to talk, we've got a few minutes left, and I want to talk a little bit about the C word. What's the C word, guys? You know what I'm talking, you know what I'm going to say? Concussion. Thank you. Concussion. <laughs> So obviously it's a big topic out there and, and there's been a lot of work that's being done uh, in the research community, the clinical community on management and prevention. In fact, there was a study that was published by Don Comstack about two years ago that looked at neck strengthening, simple neck strengthening, using a band. If we can increase one pound of strength for that athlete, we can decrease their concussion risk by 5%. 5% is a lot. So we can use the evidence to help prevent some of these injuries. Uh, Roger, we were again talking earlier, concussion. Mm -hmm. Do you, you have any concussions you know, playing in this league? I have one concussion. I used to give out concussions. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love it. I was a I violent it. runner. I was a violent runner. You delivered the pain. I, yeah, absolutely. But I did get knocked out one time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. so what's changed you know, as, as what you know goes well, on? There's a lot training? more technology, like you said. There's a lot more data that's out there that's, that you know, they're, they're kind of capturing, you know, having analytics to break, every, break it down. You know, as far as, you know, how many times a guy had been hit, if it's been, you know, the outer rhythm of, of an of a impact of a hit, you know, they, they, can, they can capture all that now, which is pretty awesome. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, so you, you, you mentioned, you know, you, you've had a concussion, you've been knocked out. Some of that was related specifically to a, a pretty vicious hit that you took. Oh, yeah, it was so vicious. It, back then, back in the day, you know, they didn't really, like, you know, uh, examine me the way they should have done, like, so, the, like they're doing today. So I'm you, and, you're, and you tell me so, what happened to you. So I'm running, I'm you, I'm not running nearly as good as Roger. Close but. lung. Oh. <laughs> right across my neck. Okay. But for weeks, I saw flashing lights. And were know, you playing still? I was still playing. Yeah. I was seeing flashing lights, which wasn't good. That's not good. No, definitely you know, not good. That's not good. <laughs> definitely not good. <laughs> definitely not a good not thing, good. man. <laughs> so the rule changes in your mind has, has been a positive It's a been positive a very change, positive yeah. change. In this movie, Concussion, I can't wait to look. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go see it soon. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> um, guys, so for the audience, again, we just have a couple minutes left. Um, as it relates to sports chiropractic and building your practice and growing yourself, um, just, you know, let's, let's close out with this group on how they can actually grow themselves in sports chiropractic. 
I'll go ahead and uh, indicate that if you all remember the three T's that Palmer preached, thoughts, everybody, traumas, and toxins. There are other three T's that you need to concern yourself with in practice, which is technique, technique, technique. I'm sure that Troy would agree that uh, with the athletes and with Roger, the precision and accuracy of technique, the reproducibility on a golf course is absolutely ridiculous. You don't want to take me on your golf course. <laughs> okay, it's hard hat golf. But the point is, reproducibility is important, and also there are three C's that we'll concern ourselves with as well. Consistency in our profession is paramount. It's critical. Consistency, continuity, and congruity. We need a cohesive world. We don't need to be bipartite between vitalistic and mechanistic. Agreed, everybody? We yes. don't need to be straights versus mixers. We need to worry about the patients, and we need to care for those patients and give them the greatest gift that we can, the greatest chiropractic adjustment ever. Outstanding. Troy, some final, some final thoughts on yeah. sports chiropractic? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I think one of the big things for me, it's always been the, the drive and the passion to take care of those athletes. Um, I, I was an athlete at one point, I actually played professional hockey, and it was a chiropractor that saved my career. So I've always wanted to be that guy to help out a guy like this. And so right. but the, in, by saying that is you still have to continue to learn. And I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm always reading. I always got a book, you know, my nose in a book. But I think passion is huge. I think continue to learn. Look, understand what's going on. Try to get outside the walls of your clinic. I know sometimes we get stuck in our wall, we get complacent. I've just been very, very grateful to be traveling around the world with a lot of different athletes and see what's out there yeah. and be able to integrate that. So you just, just really understand that there's a lot of stuff out there for you to learn. And with these athletes, much more educated than they are 10 years ago, they know this stuff. And so if you want to be a sports chiropractor, you just got to be on top of your game. Outstanding. Outstanding. Yeah. Roger, I have, to, I have one, one final thought from you about what America needs to know about chiropractic from the, the world's <laughs> well, best running back. Well, I just think, you know, um, you know the, the chiropractors out here in the audience, you know, use these guys as mentors. I, I use mentors like Walter Payton, you know, Sweetness. Frank, Franco Harris, uh, Jim Brown. And I got a lot of their information and, and, and applied it to what I did on the football field. So just use these guys and come to all the conferences, support Parker every year and other chiropractic you know, conventions or, or conferences, you know, and, and learn. And, and that's, that's all, like you said, you know, you got to learn um, by, you know, by coming here and being consistent, you know, and if you do that, you, you'll be successful. That's awesome advice. That's awesome advice. Thank you, Roger. You got to grow yourself, right? That's a beautiful thing. So, so one That's last, one, Roger won't tell you this, but I'm going to tell you this. You know, he's up for getting into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And, and to be in the Hall of Fame, you need public support. So I would just <laughs> want to encourage every single one of you out there to go to his Twitter account, which is HighStep33, because he was famous for his high step running, <laughs> right? HighStep33, and let's put in the, the, the chiropractic support, he puts in support for us. Let's put in the chiropractic perfection support to get this man in the Hall of Fame where he deserves, all right? Oh, well, yeah. Thank you. Thank all you, right. man. You're the man. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. You are the man. All right, we are out of time. I want to thank all of you for allowing us to be here today and, and have a rocking conference. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Great MC. Great job. Great job.